Today's topic is rural urban fringe. Now, what do you understand by rural? Rural is an area which is not much developed, which is lagging behind in the amenities and the facilities in all the sectors like educational sectors, employment sectors and development sectors. So most probably the people or the population in the rural area is engaged in the primary occupation. What is urban? Urban fringe. Now urban means what urbanization which has lot of amenities. It is well developed in all the sectors. So that comes under urban. Now urban fringe is an area where it, most of the land is reserved for the urban based people. So which type of people comes under urban people, urban based people, urban based fringe? The people like those who are interested in businesses, those who are interested in industries, okay, and who often like to have a better lifestyle comes under the urban fringe. Now what is rural fringe? A rural fringe is a rural area where there are only few homes, few buildings. These people they stay in the rural area which which has the primitive occupation that is agriculture the population density in rural area is very much low whereas the population density in the urban fringe area is mostly high many people live in the city that is the urban area to have a better lifestyle or a better future their homes and businesses are located very close to one another so as compared to the rural area, the urban areas homes are very close to each other and in the rural area there is lot of distance between one and another home. Now how is rural urban fringe created? Now when this existence of rural and urban fringe came, the term rural urban fringe has been used to designate such areas where we have the mixture of rural and urban land use. So rural urban fringe is an area where we have a mixture of both rural as well as urban land use. Means in, a, in one area you can get the feel of both the rural and the urban land use. The rural urban fringe has complex structure. So it has a complex structure, it has a big diversity. Under a single area you can see you have the qualities of urbanization and you have the qualities of ruralization. The smaller municipal town close to the main city tends to lose their identity and are in reality a part of geographical city. So the small small towns they start losing their identity when the rural urban fringe is created. The city surrounding area consists essentially of two types of administrative area, the municipal council or the gram panchayats. So these are the two areas or the, these are the two administrative areas which comes under rural urban fringe that is the municipal council or gram panchayat. Rural urban fringe, the area between urban and rural area is called as rural urban fringe. It has the characteristic of both urban as well as rural areas. It is not a separate zone such as but is a transition between the two and merges into both of them. So it has the qualities, it has the characteristic of both the areas and it is not a separate zone but it is a connectivity which connects each other and which is trying to merge both the qualities of rural and urban sectors. People using automobiles make their daily trips to perform their jobs from the areas to its central area where their office and economic institutions are generally located. So from rural urban fringe or from that area people they go by uh, the other automobiles or bus travel or car travels and they go to the cities for their educational and job purposes. When large urban areas develop, the span of urban area increases and this is called as urban sprawl. So when the urban areas extent increases and lot of accommodation or lot of population is seen in that area, 
and the span of that area increases and it converts into urbanization such type of process is called as urban sprawl the urban rural fringe consists a mixture of land use it includes residential area recreational facilities such as golf courses and farming these areas tend to contain areas of better quality housing gardens and houses are large due to lower land values and more open space so it has a mixture of land uses the qualities of urban area and the qualities of rural areas are seen here gardens houses are also seen why because a lot of open space is available where urban areas are extensively managed to prevent urban sprawl and protect agricultural land the urban fringe will be characterized uh, characterized by certain land uses which have either purposely moved away from the urban area or require much larger tracts of land so the urban sprawl it is most probably the land of agricultural purpose which gets converted into the housing housing facilities or big big businesses now the example of rural urban fringe how the area can be used the area is used most probably for the roads motorways and bypasses waste transfer station recycling facilities landfill sites park and ride sites airports large hospital power water and sewage facilities factories large out of town shopping facilities large supermarkets so all the uh, big big projects like airports road project bypass project factories bypasses supermarkets so all these things they require a large amount of area so such type of area is available in the empty spaces and because of this there is a development of rural urban fringe despite these urban uses the fringe remains largely open with the majority of land agricultural woodland or other rural use however the quality of countryside around urban areas tends to be low with severance between the area of open land and bad maintained woodland qualities and benefits now what are the qualities and the benefits of rural urban fringe the quality of services in these town is comparable to those of the main cities so all the qualities which you can see in the main cities better lifestyle education all these qualities are also seen in the rural urban fringe the town away from the main city maintain their distinct identity and have a distinct set of problems relating to urban amenities and transportation so they have their distinct identity they have their distinct problems they they are good in amenities as well as transportation the areas in rural areas also exhibit a certain level of diversity agricultural land may have been converted to residential or industrial areas or whole area may be entirely rural the only link with city being the daily commuters so even because of rural urban fringe there are some development in the rural areas also the land is converted either in the residential form it can be converted into the industrial form also and even the roads are been created so that there should be a link between rural area and the city area for their daily communication or for the daily commuters these areas have cheap land car parking spaces good accessibility and attractive environment with greenery and less pollution so these are the lands which have a cheap rate as compared to the urban land they have more car parking space as compared to the urban area they have good accessibility because of transport uh, facilities and they have attractive environment with lot of greenery and trees and because of this there is less pollution beyond the urban fringe lies the rural fringe consisting of villages only and partly affected by urbanization 
so after the urban fringe there is a rural fringe which has less amount of pollution and it it has all small small villages which is partially affected by the urbanization process so in this figure you can see that the cheap land is available room of expansion can be done attractive environment is there little pollution good accessibility workers available close by plenty of car parking space so all the new industries shopping centers new and larger roads all these things are being seen in the rural urban fringe so it is very much essential for the economic development of that particular now here is an example of rural urban fringe they have given you the example of delhi as you know delhi is the mostly developed area so it is an urban area in the figure you can see it is uh, shown as an urban area now delhi is surrounded with gurgaon ghaziabad faridabad narela bahadur garg so all this surrounded area is later on developed because of delhi why because it is totally populated and now they don't have the required space so because of this the surrounded area or the marginal area these areas are having the qualities of urban as well as rural areas so it is called as rural urban fringe so here delhi comes under urban area whereas ghaziabad gurgaon faridabad narela all this surrounding area it comes under the rural area so this is an example of rural urban fringe thank you